All right, fellas, NBA is back. Ladies and gentlemen, NBA is back. And I brought some special guests with me, my best friends um, that I talk to on a daily basis in a group chat. We shoot the sh about NBA and every sport you can imagine every single day, every hour of the day. So without further ado, it is uh, the best time of the year to have these conversations. Fellas, how are we feeling today? Good. Yo, yo. Oh, these niggas are off the crack. <laughs> All right, wait, wait, wait. First, first question we're gonna talk about is is the the we're gonna pick up on a conversation we had in the chat, y'all. So, um, Zay Brooks isn't here to defend himself, but um, are the best players in the NBA or not? Was that the question? I think he said something like he like, his his stance was like he believes that all the best basketball players in the world are in the NBA, and there's no like because because Lonzo was like. I believe that not all the best players in the world are in the NBA. And Zay was like, no, nigga, they're all in the NBA. Right. And then he said, uh, we were dropping names that weren't in the NBA. And he said, yeah, but they were in the NBA, but they're not good enough to be in the NBA now. So I think we kind of came to the conclusion that that is false. Um, politics sure. play a big part of it. I, I know Barry has something he wanted to say about, oh, EOD not even in here. Hold on. Oh, he got bumped. Nope. He got bumped. I, Barry's right. Is that J. Lou? Yeah, that's me. Hold on, first of all, before we start, man, J. Lou, man, um, give me the square root of uh, 59. It's not, there is none. Okay, respect. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Barry, I know you want to tee up on that about the Zay Brooks and Lonzo Ball conversation, so I brought you back in here. Uh, Barry, ELD, you could pop in and talk yes. about that. Yes, sir. What's, what's going on, man? You said with the, uh, with the Lonzo situation? Yes, sir. All right, man, my take. So, um, the original... So so first off, first off, this it went all off the walls. I feel like we started off just talking about how Lonzo had said that that the NBA doesn't have all of the best players in the world, right? Right. But I feel like we went from there to saying that the NBA doesn't have the best players in the world for some reason. Yes, in which we came we, to the conclusion that the NBA doesn't have the best players in the world. Not all of them, right? Not yeah, all, not all so of this them. This is what we came to the conclusion of, is yes. that Lonzo was correct, obviously. Not all of the most talented players in the world are in the NBA. Not at all. Correct. But the, don't get me wrong. Zay Brooks' point as to trying to say, basically, like, if you touch the league, you're considered one of the greatest players in the world. I guess you could say that, but... 450 people touch the league and 100 new in and out every year. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, there's not a lot of NBA players, but that that's a big ass pool. So, but you got to think opinion, in, in history though. There's been I think less than 4,000 in history that have played in NBA. There has been less than 4,000, but even 4,000, even even in my opinion, you can't you can't say so much. Like, I guess okay, cool, you're 4,000, but if there's 4,000 people in the pool, that's not the greatest in the world. That I feel like the greatest in the world gets cut to like a like a hundred and fifty list, like the hundred and fifty greatest players in the world. If we're talking about just greatest players in the world, and if that's the case, then Zay Brooks is correct. Like okay. those players are players that were in the NBA throughout and throughout, had 10, 15 year careers, whatever it may be, right? But Lonzo's point was right now, currently. The greatest players in the world, not every single greatest player is in the league because of there's a lot of players who are ball dominant guys or who play certain roles that are minimal in the NBA, like a, like a role that a lot of people can play in the NBA, three and D space on the floor, like being a locker room guy, like being a role player, like a lot of people could play that role in the NBA, right? But there's only 30 teams in the NBA and there's two guys on each team that are ball dominant. So that means that you have to be one of the top 60 players in the league to be a ball-dominant guard that is playing in the league. You have to literally be like that. You have to be like that. So there's a lot of ball-dominant guards not bad take. who are playing over water. That's not, actually not a bad take, Barry. Yeah, that's, that's my not a bad take. take. Now, before we move on, what do you want to uh, like to add on to that? Because I do have a question I want to talk about. Yep, go ahead. Nah, that was that was a great point. I think my thing. I was just thinking like 
I feel like wait, wait, Kyle. But before you before you get on here, you got to preface who you are and then give us a uh, you know what I'm saying a, a 20 second serenade. Serenade is crazy. I'm not going to serenade. Okay, no sorry, man. my bad. Sorry. Uh, but nah, shout out to me, man. I'm Kyle. Uh, you know all these guys from who played uh, high school basketball with Cell, played with Dev when I was young. Uh, never got to play with Blake. J. Lou was like six, and we were all in high school. So I know he's like, you know, he's young. But anyways, <laughs> played with Barry for a couple of years. Uh, but yeah, nah, I agree for the most part. I agree that not all the best players are in the world. Uh, best players in the world are in the league. Um, but like we were saying earlier, I think it's just like opportunity politics play a huge role. Because like I feel like we could both name like we'd all name people that we know personally that are good enough to be in the NBA that are currently not. DJ, Ford, nigga. Uh, Keith. Keith is looking healthy again. Yep. Uh, so it's like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, even the guys we named earlier, like X Dames and other people. Um, I feel like it's just an opportunity. Like, I think that's the main thing. So, no, yeah, I have to agree with Zoe. Like, there's not, not I think a good amount of the best players are in the league. Like, let's not say, like, majority of the people in the NBA are ass. Like, that's not the case. Like, like yeah. the NBA has some dogs, like, from one first man to 15th man. Like, there's niggas in the league that can go. But I think that it's just opportunity, and not everybody has the same opportunity as others. So, yeah. Respect. Now, now, Drifty J, um, you made a bold statement earlier today saying that, um, actually, I'll let you say it about Cooper Flag. Actually, was it about, no, it was about AJ Dibancy. How do you say it? Dibancy? Dibancy? Wait, what's going on? You yeah, go ahead and say your uh, take about AJ that you said in the group chat. Go ahead, yeah, oh, stand on business. Yeah. I, I definitely think AJ is a pro right now. No, like, that's not what you said. That's not what you said. We, we, we weren't I debating that. Top, what did I say? He was top 150? No, you said 100. Right no, no, I think I said 150, right? I, I think Unless, you said 100. You're I, still, you're still, I don't know if he could be top 150 right now, brother. That's, I, I think I'm saying little. top 150 because I feel like this is, bro, 6'9 with like a 7 foot some wingspan, bro, and who could defend. And and literally, uh, and then on offense, can get, can make tough shots. Like at 6'9, and he, and he has a handle. Could he produce <laughs> yeah, more than Jaden McDaniels right now? You said, say that again? Could he produce more than Jaden McDaniels right now on the Timberwolves? I mean, I feel like right Similar now, builds. Similar builds. Well, right I mean, now, well, I, mean I, don't, he, I, don't, I don't think Jalen's 6'9", but he might, Jaden's 6'9". I don't know if he might be built. Anyway, go ahead. I think with, you give, you give AJ a few weeks into the league, or month, really, like, get kind of, a few weeks. Could, could do the same I guess same weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Jalen, were you good, bro? Your connection's yeah, like, go, go, mobile, my nigga. You got boost, mobile, bro. Hey, chill, bro. Hey, chill on me, bro. Hold on. You got, on that, brother. you got some money for that. Next to that AMG Wi-Fi. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah. Can y'all hear me? Hey, get it, get out the AMG game. Um, yeah, my bad, bro. I put it all on that. But, um, nah. So what I was saying is... I feel like if AJ got comfortable in the league, like, obviously, are you saying right now, if, if he's sitting on his couch and you're like, yo, we need you to play an NBA game, you asking me if he could go in there and do the same thing as Jaden McDaniels right now? Are you I'm just saying, like, could he produce more? Like, I'm saying, uh, you say a uh, sure. person that could defend. Over time, over time, over time, over the course of, of a season. Yeah. Right now. Def, def, yeah. Okay. I'm okay. Now, let, me, let, let me go, Sam. Let me go. Let me go. Let okay. Me go. Fair. Go ahead, Barry. Barry, 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 you get 35 seconds. Sorry, one more thing. Go ahead. If he puts on some weight, like just a little bit. I feel like he could do some of the same things that some NBA players could do right now. Okay, okay. that's fair. Are we talking All about right. the high school kids? Yes. Yeah, okay. he's not I'm better. Like, just for he's not better than Cooper Flag. He's not right. better than Cooper Flag. No, he's, he's not better than Cooper Flag. But hold on, let's keep. But let me. All right, let me see my point. You said I got ninety seconds, right? So no, no, no. I say yeah, no, forty-five seconds. He got he more. Got forty-five. Man, that's even better. I don't even need that. I really only need like twenty seconds. And hold right, on, wait. Look. Timer is started. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now. All right, bet. This is my take on that, Jay Lou. AJ Debansa is a crazy talent. He's super skilled for his size. Like, that nigga can get to it. He a dog, all that shit. I know you done seen it personally. A nigga worked you in the ones on everything. Hey, you know, I know you done seen it personally. That's the truth. He know AJ is nice. This is the thing about it. He is. You got to understand, in the NBA, when you're playing in the NBA, and if you're really nice like Mind's that, up, buddy. number one, he's going to have to get the ball. <laughs> he's going to have to get the ball. And number two, nigga, defenses are going to be set waiting for whatever he's good at. So he's going to have to do something more than what he's good at because they're sitting on everything he's good at. 
Like anything he's good at, bro, they're 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 making sure that they don't allow him to get there. So that's the difference. That's, that's actually a good point. I think I think the thing about AJ is this: like it's, it's early, he's in high school, so it's hard for us to make a conclusion. But I, I do think AJ has the intangibles to be a really good basketball player in the NBA for sure. It's just he, right now he's in he's in high school, so it's hard to say. Yeah, he got to mature. He got to mature. But he got to be able to see the whole floor, like play the game the hundred percent correct way. Like, yeah, he knows how to play real basketball right now. Don't yeah. get me wrong, that nigga's that nigga's nice. But at the end of the day, he's he's just he's lengthy. He's using his talent to to get over guys, shoot over guys, finish over guys. So it's gonna take him a, a couple of years to be ready for that, in my opinion. Devin, this next question is for you, man. Um, as a Laker fan, um, what's your guys' uh, aspirations and goals for this season, realistically? Uh, I mean, uh, being better than the Sacramento Kings. I mean, I mean that's not really a goal. I mean, I, I, I mean, we seven to one against y'all last eight games. Just saying. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean, Kings pr- suck pretty bad. So I think that's a goal for sure. So I'm seven so to glad one. your goal is to beat us. Uh, Lovely. Yeah, I mean, we probably won't even see you guys in the playoffs because you guys don't make the playoffs a lot. But um, oh. yeah, I, th- I think we, I think we can win a chip. I think I think a championship. Oh my god! Seen, oh gosh! One you, of those. You seen how we played? You mean tonight? that? Dude? We're one to know. You mean you mean that? You believe yeah, that? Really? I mean, we I, we just beat we beat the Timberwolves tonight. They were in the that, Western Conference without Carl Anthony Towns. They look totally different. Hey, they what, what did they play last year? The, and they played in the Western Conference, right? This is correct. Uh, in the finals, we just beat them. We want to know. We looked really good, really solid. One of the big things that we need to change was getting offensive rebounds. Um, I think we were like last in the league at getting that, getting second chance points. Came out, effort looked great. I think JJ Reddick, great coach. Fair. I think we're a whole different team. A whole different team. I think you guys are the same team, different pace, different sense of urgency. So coaching matters in that. In that, because you got to think from roster standpoint, you guys are the exact same team. You guys didn't really add anybody besides Dalton Connect and Brian James, which are two draft picks. So it's like I think you guys actually have gotten better through the draft for once. Good job. I think I think I think AD is going to step up this year. Also, I think D'Lo is going to be on different timing. D'Lo play good. He's going to be a huge piece for us. Speaking of AD, um, Blake actually hates AD. So Blake, why why don't you like Anthony Davis, man? To be honest, bro, I I don't like him, bro, purely because like we we saw it tonight, bro. How many times do we see this? And in the very next game, bro got ten points, six rebounds. Is this true? I mean, I mean, it's just, it's, it's just honestly mainly that, like the consistency. If if I see it this year, which I mean, like I said, I I really do. Like I I thought he was gonna have a better year this year, purely just based off of like as much as you know what's said about him. He keep getting hurt and stuff. You know, people felt like Bron still had to do too much last year. Like honestly, I feel like it's a do or die year for bro. I like you know that. I mean? You know, I mean, so far, like I said, I, I got to respect it. Bro played a hell of a game tonight. You know, he, he looked amazing. He, Like I said last year, I would mainly say, like, bro looked like he was hurting when he ran up and down the court. That yeah. shit was just pissing you off, like, you know, <laughs> off the court. Wait, I mean, Blake, I have a question. Tonight. So, I mean, yeah, hopefully you keep it up. Go, go ahead, Kyle, ask the question. Wait, Blake, so when it comes to AD, do you, uh, do you, like, do you fault him for being injury prone? Like, is that a reason you not like him, or is it more just like him being consistent? Like, he'll my, have a crazy mind you, game like tonight. Before you answer that question, then, don't forget, AD did play seventy six games last year. No, like I said, it's I'm not faulting him for being uh, uh, having you know injuries in the past. Like I said, I just feel like at times. We don't see that effort. And, I mean, like I said, if if you are hurt, if you are tweaked, I mean, okay, I would rather you sit out. People still probably going to talk shit about you for sitting out, but that's better than you being on the court looking like you're hurting, barely getting up and down the court. And then, you know, you give in 12 points, but then the very next game you got 40, 40 and 20. And then it's like, okay, shit, can we where that AD at? But, like I said, I, I think it's just mainly more so – the consistency. I don't know. I mean, like I said, I, I, I ain't wishing on his downfall this year because I, I hope Bron, my favorite player of all time, yes, sir. And even though I hate the Lakers, bro, you know, Kings fan. Hopefully, he can send send Bron out right. I love that. That that actually bridges the uh, conversation to the next topic I want to talk about before we get out of here. Um, it, it's been brought to my attention that a lot of guys, especially in this chat, a lot of guys that I've talked to. 
and social media and seeing comments, things of that nature. I believe Anthony uh, Edwards is better than Anthony Davis. Um, Barry is one of those guys. So Barry, I'll, I'll give you a minute to uh, to 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 stand on that statement and defend it. Um, and, and I'm going to give some pushback on that. So go ahead. Okay, great, great, great. All right, bet. So in terms of who is better than, okay, now first we're going to start off with my viewpoint of better. Okay. My viewpoint of better has nothing to do with stats or like things like that, especially because they play in two different positions, right? So, Fair. so it's already hard to compare the two. So my definition of better is I place one on the same exact squads. Like they get the same type of pieces, like like they get the same pieces that fit well around them, whatever it may be. And I make Anthony Edwards the main player, and I make Anthony Davis the main player of the other team. Mm-hmm. Main player totally. Like these are the leaders, these are who the guys follow. This is who that's that's what happens. Anthony Edwards team is for sure consistently better. For sure. Just simply off the fact of how much like he's a dog, bro. Like he's a dog. Like he's Agreed. talking his guys through everything. He's he's he wants to win. Like he he don't give a fuck who it is in front of him. He going at the ass. He don't give a fuck what it is. Like he want to beat your ass every single time. Every single time. And Anthony Davis, he don't got that. So in my opinion, if you have one being the leader and the other being the leader, one team comes out rebounds harder. One team comes out with more energy. Their players probably play a little bit better, and the other team just feeds into whatever AD does well. I and love that you said I that. Think Anthony Edwards is better than Anthony Davis, is because if I think Anthony Edwards has much more infectious energy in his game, the way he, the way he plays his game, and how hard he plays, and and his grit and iron, especially with his youth, like I feel like that's more inspirational to the players around him than what Anthony Davis does to the players around him. I love that you said that, man. That that actually helps my point here. So, um, you know, they they usually say, well, I'm going to preface this. Anthony Edwards is a phenomenal talent, phenomenal basketball player. He is everything box office is meant to be. Secondly, I'm going to say this. When you talk about what you just talked about, dog and effort and the mentality, um, you're pretty much only as good as your last game. And, and I think what we saw tonight was um, everything you just explained. But on Anthony Davis, we saw uh, a supreme amount of effort. We saw a, a great amount of dog going at the reigning defensive player of the year in Rudy Gobert. Um, Even though they was picking on Rudy Gobert, let's not do that. Rudy Gobert is not the defensive player bro. of the year. They were literally, <laughs> whoever Rudy was guarding, give him the ball. Like, literally. This yes. Is crazy. What did I say in the chat earlier, Sal? Rudy Gobert. How do you say his no, name? I ain't never seen a defensive player of the year get hunted the way that that nigga is getting Bro, they were crazy, bro. Tonight. They're oh looking for the defensive player, like multiple diff- time defensive player of the year. Yeah, I want him. I want sw- give yes. me the switch so I can so I can go at him. Like, yes. What? Nigga, Rudy Gobert sucks. But but let me let me say. Oh, I'm adding Zay in here actually. Uh, oops, I mean adding Zay. All right, everybody, welcome Zay. Hold on, Zay. Don't say anything yet. We're in the middle of a debate right now. So my thing is this with Anthony Davis. After seeing tonight, right? If if he can give that consistently. I just don't see how you can name four people better than him. I'm moving Anthony Davis into the top five after that performance. If we can get a constant performance of that and dominance, and I think J.J. Redick is going to literally put him as the premier guy in the offense, you see LeBron took a huge backseat tonight, willingly, in, 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 in which we haven't seen in recent history. So I think, I mean, I mean in, in recent memory. So my thing is this, is if J.J. Redick is going to, put Anthony Davis as a focal point, the Los Angeles Lakers will go very far. We've seen nah. Anthony Davis lead his team, the freaking New Orleans Pelicans, whose second option, it was it was a younger Drew Holiday with Bro, the Ray John Rondo. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Boring. Like, we, we got to really talk about the facts here. Anthony Edwards had Carl Anthony Towns, Rudy Gobert. You know what I'm saying? Nas um, Reed, Jaden McDaniels. That, but, that's what, but that's what makes Anthony Edwards so much greater is – he had all those great older players, and they followed him. Fair name, name. Dude, who, who on the Lakers follows AD? Let's be real. AD is the one bringing everybody together and saying, "Come on, guys, let's no, it's fucking Bron. AD's just a piece. Mm-hmm. Bron is the leader of that shit. Anthony Edwards is the leader of the Timberwolves at 23 years old. Period. I mean, it's kind of hard when your teammate is LeBron James. He's kind of the I goat. That, but in the, pe- when he was with the Pelicans, was was he leading the Pelicans locker room? No. He wasn't. 
I mean, well, okay. He's, he's never, he's I, I never been. Was he, was he leading like, Kentucky's locker room? Is, 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 is Joel B leading the Philly, Philly locker room? You think Hell so? No, no, no. But he's a MVP. No, but you could put Joel, but you could put Joel Embiid on any team, and that team's gonna probably do similar to whatever he's doing because he's that good, dominantly wise. Like Joel Embiid is better than Anthony Davis. So, so, so you're saying Joel Embiid's a better plug and play player than Anthony Davis? Mm. There's no well, way I can agree with that. In, you don't plug and play Joel Embiid. Any team Joel Embiid is on, he's the main option. But, he's too but, big. but, he, but, uh, but, score, but I'm saying though, you okay? Good. You you plug and play Joel Embiid in the Sacramento Kings current roster right now. How's that look? You, plug in, plug in, plug and play AD or Joel with Sacramento right now. Joel. I ain't gonna lie. I look, I look you need AD. Bro, jo- jo- Joel, because Joel will win you three games by himself with scrubs around you. Because he's just gonna go drop 45 every time and 20 rebounds. He's gonna go get buckets. That's why I want. That's why I'd rather have Joel. You're gonna rather have AD for what? Like Joel gonna win us two or three games. We already got everything else we need. Zay Brooks, would you like to chime in? Zay Brooks' picture is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> is 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 Zay gonna chime in or is he gonna just sit here? Oh, Niggas being mysterious. Oh hey, my gosh, crazy. here we go with that bullshit, man. Look, bro, I'll say this about AD though. Like I said, y- y- y'all know how I feel about him. I mean, the way, like I said, the way he played tonight, and like I said, even when you look at his stats last year, it's like on paper, it's not like they're horrible stats. Like they're good stats, but like you don't. I feel like when you watched him play, like you didn't feel like on a nightly basis you saw what the stats you say, you know, but, but I feel like the way he played tonight, like you felt that, like, like that you was did, the most yeah, dominant yeah. player, like, you know, like, yeah, and I feel did. like if you feel that on a nightly basis, like, like Sal said, now he for sure top five, can't nothing be said about it. Cause like I said, tonight it was on the offensive end, defensive end, very evident, like yeah, nigga, this was yeah. Anthony Davis game. <laughs> yeah. True. I love, I love that. That's a great fucking take, Blake. I love that you just said that right now. That was, yeah, that was on the money. That was on the money. My thing is this, though. I, I, all in all, um, whether you plug and play AD, Joel, um, Anthony Edwards, I think it's it, it's so early in Anthony Edwards' career to have this conversation, and, and that's the dope part about it. Like, he's in the conversation this early on in his career. You know what I mean? It's like, that's freaking phenomenal. Um, I mean, How many times in the game tonight did they say that he was the face of the league? My bad, Phil. I, I just had to oh, no. Nah, I mean, I'm, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. I'm all for Anthony Edwards becoming the face of the league once, 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 once Braun retired. You feel what I'm saying? I'm all for that. I'm all for it. Hundred percent. Like me saying I would take AD over Anthony Edwards right now is not me saying that Anthony Edwards is any you know lack thereof. I just think that Anthony Edwards, for me personally, isn't going to move the needle the way I want it to be moved. That Anthony Davis more than Anthony Davis could do, in my opinion. I, I think I can, I can I can see it. I can see why you think that for sure. Yes, I don't agree, but I definitely can see it though for sure. Well, okay. Well, I'm at okay. I'm at, wait. So then let me let me paraphrase and ask. Oh, not paraphrase. Let me go ahead and state this in a rhetorical question way. So if you were to have Anthony Edwards, right? On let's mm. say you put Anthony Edwards on Detroit Pistons, and then you put freaking Anthony Davis on the the Washington Wizards right now. Who do you think has the more uh, chance of being successful? I think it'd be the Washington Wizards because why? You give Anthony Edwards a guard in Jordan Poole and a wing in Kyle Kuzma, who he's already played with. You know what I'm saying? I think you give him a somebody he, he can pick and pop with. Then you put Anthony Edwards on the freaking Pistons, playing with Kate Cunningham, playing with the likes James of like. Wiseman. Huh? Oh, God. James Wiseman, <laughs> Cade Cunningham. Hey, I think the, I think the Pistons go to the playoffs. <laughs> Swear to you. You said James Wiseman. Go to the playoffs. I'm not. I'm not putting James Wiseman before Marvin Bagley, respectfully. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, like, he got both of them. Then shit, that's even scarier. He's I can respect that. I can respect They'll that. Love Bagley. <laughs> Bro, I think I think Bagley. <laughs> I think Bagley was in a bad position with the Kings. You know what I'm saying? I, I just, I think, I think, I think the thing about the Kings that we always struggle with is, is just it was the player development early on. That was that was our huge problem. We had Tyreek Evans, rookie of the year. Not was, then not what? was. I can't. I'm not even gonna say no more than that right there. But not nah, was. Oh shit! Bro. Damn it. Uh, oh. Well, oh. kind of said it without saying, huh? Was. Hey, Mike Brown, phenomenal. Nice Mike Brown, phenomenal. But that don't got nothing. We still ain't built nobody up from their rookie year on. Dear? Nah. Who? De'Aaron? De'Aaron, my bad. That's it. That's it, though. That's it. I mean, shoot, he was all NBA, though. And we didn't didn't build De'Aaron Fox. That nigga's been playing the exact same way since he left Kentucky. 
He just got nicer himself. Hmm. That's an interesting take. Interesting take. Very interesting. I, I think, think he can come in a long smooth now. Nah. You said what? I think he can come in a long smooth now. Nah. Yeah, yeah, he wanted yeah, to play. Yeah, but that's yeah, what I was about to say is is Mike Mike Brown, bro. It's Mike Brown though. It's not necessarily like that they, that our organization is developing these guys. And Mike Brown's teaching niggas how to play the right way. Like they're playing basketball the correct way. And and that's he's fair. giving them confidence to do so. So like they're gonna get better in, in a sense. So they got the right coach. They got oh. the right coach. I want to backtrack a little bit. Um, I, I caught myself sounding redundant. Um, I said I want to ask a rhetorical question, and I asked a question, so I want to go ahead and backtrack that. I meant to say I want to ask a question, not a rhetorical question, so I'm going to get in front of that before the freaking comments butcher me on that one. Um, I think... I couldn't, me, I couldn't imagine having to think that 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 much behind on what <laughs> I was saying. You already know they're going to troll you. Bro, it's, it's part of the culture, man. That's all they do is troll nowadays. I think... Uh, <laughs> I think I think for me personally though, uh, the most person I mean the, the one person I'm excited to see it for sure I mean is Jason Tatum, the the way yeah, he bounced back tonight was phenomenal. Oh my god, he did. But, but here's here's my thing with JT. It's my only thing. We see this every year. He'll come out guns blazing, but their team is so stacked to where that he's not going to be asked to do that every night. You know what I mean? Like you also have another kind of part who's arguably top fifteen, top twelve, top ten, and Jalen Brown. Then you have also yeah. Drew Holiday, Derek White tandem. Then you have Al Horford who can knock down threes, and then we have Chris Stapps whenever he gets back. It's just like that team is a juggernaut. So what JT did tonight might be Jalen Brown's task the next game. You know what I'm saying? So that's what makes them so dangerous. Which I think that'll hurt all in all the MVP chances of uh, of Jason Tatum winning MVP this year, in my opinion, just because of how how yeah. deep they are. I mean, I agree. I, bro, when it comes to Tatum, though, like I, I mean, like I said, I, I am curious to see how it continues because I don't know. Like I said, I, I'm just trying to think. Like, bro, we we all at the end of the day, we we all got egos, you know. And I mean, yeah. just how he got dead on Team USA. I don't care what you say, bro's not that ass to where he couldn't get any any sort of minutes, bro. Like, and I feel like if I'm him, bro, like I'm this is my revenge here, and that's why I said I think it's honestly. This might be one of the scariest NBA championship teams, you know, uh, of all time because I feel like it's not like okay, we just won a championship. I feel like they actually trying to prove some. JB, they are trying to prove some. Was, was Finals MVP and they wouldn't let him on because of politics. Right. So it's like, you know, I feel like we really gonna see a different kind of Tatum. Like, okay, y'all, y'all was doing all this talking about me passing and scoring, but then when I did it all last year, it was a problem. You know, I get on Team USA. You know, I I can't get any minutes. Y'all, Jalen Brown can't get on the team. Like, okay, right. I think it's up this year. Right. I think um I think that's huge because that's that's actually a great point. When you look at it, you have you have two of the best players in the NBA, right? Only one of them makes it. Okay. And in the and in the and then the worst part about that is two of his counterparts make it with him, Derek White and Drew Holiday. And to even top that, his two counterparts are playing more than him on a team that's primarily his. So I think JT yeah. feels the type of way, not towards just, uh, Drew Holiday and Derek White. I mean, it's, it's not their fault, but I think he definitely feels some type of way towards how that team was ran and everything and that nature. Which, 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 which is which is what I'm paying attention to when they play the Golden State Warriors. When they play the Golden yeah, State Warriors, sir, I think JT's I gonna go fifty. That he he's <laughs> That's gonna say it all. Oh, bro, he he's gonna go at Steve Kerr something so crazy. That yeah. that over that <laughs> night is gonna be so free. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, yeah, he's about to go nuts. I think I got a hot take uh, to, to piggyback off that, though. Go ahead. I honestly think that this, might, this isn't even going to sound crazy, in my opinion. I honestly think that Team USA did the right thing and not playing them like that. Really? Yeah, Why? because of... Okay, where in that roster, you got to understand, I got all these stars. Right. Okay. Where does Jason Tatum fit? in a role when he's not going to be ball dominant or a nigga that we need to take the last shot with the last 10 seconds. Does he guard very well? Does he like a crazy defender? No, not really. Like, is mm. he a big energy guy if he's not making shots? No, nah, not really. Mm. Like, like Bro, what I is, mean, you know what I'm saying? Big. Like, you got to think about that type of shit. Derek White, he don't need to make shots. He's going to play hard as fuck the whole game. Rotate on defense, everything. So is Drew Holiday. Bro, Devin Booker, he can come off and like... play. We it don't matter if like it's Jason, Jason Tatum. Tatum can't, like I said, bro, team when you USA when you're playing with all the best trash. players in the world, it's about how like the fuck are we going to win. Everybody has to play a role, up. and LeBron's going to be ball dominant. Steph Curry's going to be ball dominant. 
you seen Anthony Edwards when he coming off the bench? He he get the ball again, in his hands. They I'm let him run. And My Jason Tatum is, is not better and more efficient with his slow. decision making or his scoring on the ball than either of them three. Go ahead, Blake. Me? Know, was like they they all slow, wait, wait, wait. Go, 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 go ahead, Blake. And then, and then Kyle. There's no way you can't give Jason. So if Tatum I'm coaching, like eight minutes. I might he he might be on the back burner minutes wise too because he probably was in training camp. And he was probably obviously you know how to play the right way, but he might have been struggling to play within a system because if he's always had a system that was built around him taking twenty shots. That's true That's too. Big, bro, 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 show those in the finals, bro. That nigga doesn't need to take twenty shots. He literally did what nigga said he wouldn't do and won a fucking championship by passing the ball and fucking rebounding and scoring when he needed to score. Like I said, no one's saying that. Again, bro had to be the star of the team. I'm not saying that. By any means, but nigga, that's Jason Tanner, bro. That nigga could have got nigga eight minutes a night, and like I said, no, Team for USA sure. for the most crazy. part, they wasn't all looking amazing in the first place anyway. Curry, Curry didn't get popping nigga until the last two games of the fucking of the, of the fucking run. Right. So it's right, like right, right. I'm just looking at like like that. Like if I'm Jason Tatum, I just want a finals. Like I said, Tatum isn't a fucking scrub. Um, I, I'm you know I'm I'm, I'm feeling away, bro. I couldn't even get nigga nigga eight no, well, minutes. I agree with you. I think he should feel away, but I still think that they're fucking right for doing it. He just better put that chip on his shoulder and show everybody that he can do it all. Because if he yeah. could actually do it all, he would have been on the floor. He, he really should have been starting. Man, he just came off a chip. It's true. I think but, I think it was tough once doing it once KD came back. Uh, once KD was healthy for the rest of that uh, Olympic run, that's kind of who he was really fighting with minutes for. That was yeah, my man, point. I was good. like, I feel like it came down to position because it's like, nigga, you look at their starting, their starting five. It's like, nigga, the point guard Steph. I mm. think the two was book, and the three you got three options: Bron, KD, and Jason Tatum. Nigga, you're not playing before either two, either two yeah. of those niggas. I'm sorry. Yeah. I feel like that's really not what it came down easy. to. You're right. Okay, and the four was AD. The five was either Bam or Joel. It's like, nigga, every position was stacked. So it's like, nigga, you played a three. So and was Joel KD, was getting. So Joel Bron. had games where he wasn't playing a lot. Correct. Right. Correct. So I'm like, I feel like that's what it came down to. It was just like at first I was like, yeah, why is Joel he not got playing? exposed with them rules, right? Different ball game. Like when I was watching, I was like, I feel like it came down to position because I'm like, at first I'm hot. I'm like, because I'm a big Jason Tatum fan, so I'm like, why is this nigga not playing? But then I'm like, okay, he's gonna have to play over Bron at the three, or he's gonna have to play over KD. That's not gonna happen. Like, you're not, not like happen. you're. you're that, that's just not gonna happen. Like, right, I feel especially like that's what it came with your decision making, like the, like Jason Tatum, if he's not. To be real, I hear what you're saying, Blake. He learned he could pass and shit like that. His ball usage is not going to be high enough, bro. Like, he needs to have the ball in his hands to get that feel. Like, right. he's going to start off hot some games and everything like that, but he's used to having the ball usage. Right. And then another right. thing, I feel like this is a good a good time to go back to the original uh, to the original question with, with the Zay Brooks shit and say that is a – Team USA is a perfect example of why – um, all the best players in the world would, wouldn't be in the NBA. Because you see, like, when a Jason Tatum, like, his situation, because of that opportunity and that situation, that nigga's coming off the bench barely playing. Yeah. Like, I feel like that goes hand in hand with, like, players that are playing in the, in the uh, players that could be playing more in the NBA but don't have the opportunity just strictly off of the position. I think this too, um, not to go too long winded, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here pretty soon. I'm going to say yeah. this is like, when you think about the, the best players over the world, like, you know, in like in, in Europe and all that type of stuff, right? If you think about it, there might be some people out there that are presented the opportunity and they say, you know what? I actually like the lifestyle over here. I like the game that we play rather than go to the NBA where it's more of a political game. Overseas is not as much political as it is that in the States. You feel what I'm saying? So some guys might be like, um, I kind of like overseas better. And I'm getting paid more. I'm getting, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting treated way better over here. You know what I'm saying? So it might not be everybody's aspirations to make it to the NBA. Like we have aspirations, of course, making it to the league as kids. But that might not be everybody's aspiration. They might be good enough to do it, but they're probably like, no, I want to go elsewhere and experience that rather than playing NBA. You know what I mean? So I don't know. It, it, a lot comes with it. You have more taxes, all that type of stuff. And it's just, it's just, it's just a lot that comes with playing in NBA that you don't really experience on the outer parts of the world. So I don't know. That's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. 100%.
So I think that's it, it's kind of tough because if you, if you talk to a hundred overseas guys, I'm I'm almost positive all the one hundred aren't going to say, yeah, I, I'm just going to get to the NBA. A lot of them are like, no, nah, I'm trying to get more paid in Euro League. I don't want to be in the Euro I mean, Cup. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. For one hundred percent, that's that's you. I know you probably had those conversations. So yeah, you know. So I yeah, think no, it's one hundred percent. It's 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 just it's just more of a standpoint of like, where do you find yourself best fit? But then it's also a standpoint or or, or some conversations where you're like, man, like I don't want to go elsewhere because just this is the dream, like the basketball, NBA, NFL. That's the American dream. But I'm like, that's like. Point 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 one percent of the population. You know what I mean? Like that's super rare to even right. be a part of that brotherhood. So um, there's a lot more basketball out there to be played. A lot more basketball out there to be monetized. And I think social media has helped bridge that gap. So, um, fellas, anything you guys like to say before we got here? Any 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 bold takes or anything like that you would like to get off your chest? Uh, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, oh shit. Uh, name Blake Mason, Cash App is Van Sam, <laughs> and everyone sent me a dollar. That's that's not too much to ask, you know. Then maybe I'll be fucking a thousand there by tomorrow. So, uh, you know, I hope everyone has a great year. Um, you know, I hope Santa October. brings you everything you want. Um, and, you know, you know, much love, man. Hey, everybody pray for my foot. Huh? What happened to your hey, foot, Drifty? Pray for my injury foot. I mean, injured foot. <laughs> Pray for my oh, injury foot. Everyone, AJ, huh? Pray for his injury foot, y'all. Uh, <laughs> Wait, Blake, what'd you say? He got it when he was hooping with AJ. AJ, uh, what's his name? Dem- Dementia? <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> no. Hey, hey, hey. No. Dementia's crazy. Hey, Wait, how do you say his last name, though, uh, Drifty? I, 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 it's AJ right. what? Dibansa. Dibansa. So you know what's crazy is like you should go watch the video. AJ Fry Drifty, like Friday. But um, yeah. <laughs> Cook cooked that man. Yeah. Hey, he'll cook hey, me too. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga different. Yeah, for sure. But I, yeah. I'd cook Drifty though, so that, that 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 that's the difference. So it's like it's like a it's like a, it's like a cook sesh. Um, I just need to get a boot and we can run it back. You said what? I said I just need to get out my boot, then we can run it back. Shut up, man. Shut up. Shut up. Oh man! Shut up. Hey, quick question before we get out of here: Do y'all think uh, Ant is better than Luca? Yes or no? And why? Ooh. I would think about that all day. I'm like, hmm. I might, I might uh, think so. Huh? Ant Edwards? Yeah, is Ant is Ant better than Luca? No. Yes or no? Actually, wait, 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 wait. that's, that's kind of crazy. Fellas, I think this is a good way. I think this is a good spot to end to force us to get back on here and talk again. Facts. That's also true. Next, I was thinking about that. Next, next, next conversation gonna be Ant versus Luca. I think. Nah. What, Drifty? No, nah, I was about to just say. I'm gonna just say it, but I was just. Playing. Go ahead, no, say your piece. I, I you know what I'm saying. I, I know. Nah. I, yeah, go ahead, man. Yo, I know you might get it. Nah, when y'all hop on the next one, it's good. I, I was just, I was just bullshit. I, I'm on that. I'm not oh my gosh, that. bro. Luca's better than Anthony Edwards for sure. Luca's better. You said for sure. I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> Ah, uh, for sure. Anthony's not at Luca's Luca yet. Like it's like like it'll get there. Like his superstar status will get there, but nigga, Luca's triple doubles, nigga. Night. Do you night. do you think if the Timberwolves got to the finals, they would have a better chance of beating the Celtics than the Mavs? Yes, hell yeah. I like I the roster the, better than the Mavs. I, I, I thought the Timberwolves would have would have not would, but I thought the Timberwolves would have beat the Celtics in six or seven just because nigga they dog shit out. It's a matchup. Like the yeah. Mavs, yeah, that, that nigga, they fuck. I like they the way they match up. up. I agree. Ah, right, hey, we're getting off topic. Damn it, this is a good conversation for later. We're going to this for later. I, I, I almost right. dove into it. Um, oh, pause. Wow. Hey. Okay. No. Hey. <laughs> you got me. Hey, I just want to say this. Uh, CJ flaked. Drew said he'd be on about 20 minutes, 40 minutes ago. And, uh, Kaj, <laughs> make sure you let you know your brother's full of shit. Yeah. Oh, all right. As yep. soon as he didn't get on, if he didn't get on right away, I was like, oh, yeah. It's good. <laughs> I texted that nigga personally. I said, hey, man, it's good hoops talk, man. Hop on. He said, yeah, bro, I'm about to hop on, bro. Yeah. I think that was at 10, uh, 10 23. So, uh, yeah. Fellas, man, I, I appreciate you guys. Uh, I do, man. We should, we should do this more often. You know what I'm saying? At least once a week. Yeah, little oh, bro. Sure. Yeah, yeah, little bro is crazy, nigga. Who you talking to? 
<laughs> oh, I, I uh, forgot I was on camera. Oops. <laughs> Appreciate you guys tuning in. This is uh, there's no name for this. Uh, it's just on here shooting the crap. And uh, <clears throat> I want you guys out there, if you're listening, I got one piece of advice for you. Okay, fellas, you can hear this too. When you go to sleep at night and you turn your light off and your light off after you brush your teeth, use a mouthwash, remember this one thing. There's a man out there that goes by the name of Actual Drifty J. That name is so whack, my nigga. Do better, lame ass nigga. Oh, curly hair, fried ass, nigga. Yeah, I'm on you, Drifty. How about that? Yeah, you look like a, yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, my camera didn't turn off. It, I don't give a damn. A little, little burnt tofu ass, nigga. Hey, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. You bronze mother sucker. <laughs> my nigga bronze is crazy. Grow a mustache and then talk to me. I got one. Peace. I got one in.